The road was cut to civilians about 20 miles east of Saigon. The actual fighting was taking place about 10 miles further on, as the governor of Binh Hoa province showed us. He was painting a grim picture of the plight of Swan Lok up ahead. I uh, heard the uh, enemy attack Swan Lok and uh, 18 division, uh, GVN, 18 division, uh, General Dao Command, have a lot, killed a lot. We see they have already killed six tanks and about 300 we see. And I think the uh, battle over there, I do not know uh, much, but I uh, know we see uh, have a lot of casualty. I believe many rockets have fallen on Swan Lock. Oh, yes. Uh, what I understand, they only have about 3,000. 3,000 rockets? Yeah, they more in rocket and thing in and around Swan Lock. If 3,000 rockets have landed on Swan Lock, then the town must be a smoking ruin. However, that fact would not affect the strategic or propaganda importance of the town. The Arvon, that's the South Vietnamese Army, today began a push to clear Highway 1 so that reinforcements could get through to the besieged garrison. The troops fanned out towards banana plantations by the side of the road. No troops advanced on the other side. Here, the Arvon made do with several artillery barrages firing over our heads. There was little doubt that a very determined effort was being made to reopen the road. Nothing illustrated this more than the commitment of the crack airborne troops. The 9th Airborne Battalion had already been flown into Swan Lock itself. Helicopter gunships were taking off and landing practically every minute. The use of these troops means that South Vietnam is throwing everything into this fight. This battle is critical. Unlike that in the Mekong Delta, here there is a definite front line and a set battle. If the people of Saigon are to retain any faith whatsoever in the fighting capabilities of the Arvon, the South Vietnamese Army, then they must stop the North Vietnamese advance.